to all the Chevy Silverado owners out there. Thank you for making Chevy Silverado the number one best-selling retail full-size pickup. From the Tennessee Valley Weather Channel, this is your weather today. Happy Friday to you. Ben Luna here with you in the Tennessee Valley Weather Center, wishing you a terrific day as you check out this forecast update. All right, off the top, weather's going to be changing as we head through the course of the day. Clouds are going to be on the increase, leading into showers and even a few thunderstorms as we look into the latter half of today and tonight for a while. But the weekend, though we will dry out, is going to be cooler across the entire region. But glancing ahead, I really think you'll enjoy how next week quickly bounces back for you. You'll learn about all those details and more right here in this weather update today, made possible by our friends at Heritage Automotive in Lawrenceburg. Let's hop right into it. Here's satellite and radar over the past 24 hours. And again, we're stepping out of a really nice weather pattern, both Wednesday and Thursday of this week. Looked beautiful, temperatures nice nice and warm. Today, eh, not so much. Unfortunately, clouds are on the increase as the storm system rolls our way. This cold front will ultimately bring in showers and storms again, mainly toward the evening drive time, say between five and seven o'clock until that point where clouds uh, building in across the area. Temperatures do make the bounce to around 65 by the midday. Some folks flirting with near 70 degrees, especially across northwest Alabama. But say again toward the drive time this evening, here comes a broken line of thunderstorms. Some local decent downpours will be likely some thunder and lightning, but we are not looking for severe weather threat from this from this storm system as it skirts its way across the area. In in fact, for the most part, at least in our viewing area, this is out of here and gone really before midnight tomorrow morning. Now, some folks east of I-65 and south of the Tennessee River eh, might see a leftover shower or two into early Saturday, but really tomorrow will be spent clearing out. Our skies will gradually clear as we head through the course of Saturday. Sunday also looking not half bad either, but temperatures cooler though, thanks to the cold front that has started on by the area. You'll see those clouds again filtering in across the area during the run of the weekend, but you will need a good jacket because it's a good reminder still winter time and it's still February in the Tennessee Valley even though today definitely doesn't feel like it and next week won't feel like it either more on that in a second here's your parks lumber day builder forecast temperatures bumping well into the mid 60s for many of you this afternoon again there are a few folks in North Alabama that might get a little bit closer to 70 before it's over with today and then note showers and storms rolling in here into the uh, mid evening hours across the area they're going to be fast moving and then out of here and gone really I think before midnight Here's a look at the next seven days fresh from the Tennessee Valley Weather Center. And again, keep a heads up on that weekend temperature. It's going to be a stark start departure from where we have been. 42 for the high on Saturday, 23 degrees to start Sunday morning. Sunday's a good wintry day, still an overall sunny sky for the afternoon, but chilly. Highs in the upper 40s to around 50. Monday, here comes the big bounce back. Near 60 degrees for Monday, for sure in the low 60s Tuesday. And then on into Wednesday, the mid 60s, and then our next rainmaker here in the form of a few thunder showers on Thursday. That is a check on your forecast from the Tennessee Valley Weather Center. Brian is filling in for Kelly today at noon. Tune in to find out the latest on your weekend weather then. And of course, Fred Gossage along the way live at five. Thanks for stopping by. Have a blessed day and we'll talk to you soon.